<laughs> oh god, oh god. Here we go. Oh, oh my, oh my. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to another episode, a short episode, yes. of Fashion History with American Duchess. I'm one of your hosts, Lauren. And I am Abby. And we're kind of not talking about fashion history today, unless no. you mean we're talking about our particular company, Fashion History. Yeah. It's a very quick episode. Um, it can be fashion history in the future when someone researches the company and they're, and they're talking and they're about like, the history what, of the company. What happened here? <laughs> and then they can be like, oh, look, here's this wonderful piece of primary documentation. Sure. So we are creating history. You mean this at this, at this moment? This printout that we're reading off of. Today. No, I meant this audio recording. <laughs> okay. Or this YouTube video that will yes. go forever on the internet. Hello. So for those of you who have been following us for a, a long time mm-hmm. from the beginning, um, you will know that American Duchess grew a growth, an <laughs> offshoot um, called Royal Vintage Shoes. A baby. A baby. It had it. It it did another brand. Um, mm-hmm. Royal Vintage, royalvintageshoes.com. Which we've talked about here on the podcast before. Yes, 1920s, 30s, and 40s shoes. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, that was in 2015, and now, in 2020, five years later, we are merging them back into one website, basically. American Duchess is absorbing its fetal twin. Back into its self. (laughs) Uh, We kind of want to give you guys some background on what this means for you as Mm -hmm. customers or followers. So this is a bit of an info podcast. It's a bit of an info podcast, and there's some business stuff in here, too. So if you are interested in our business and kind of or running your own business. Just business stuff. Business time. It's business time. It's business Business time. time. It's yeah, you know it's business time. time. <laughs> yeah, you know it's business time. I got my business socks on. Right. I've, I have, might have ferns on them. Boring socks. Anyway, <laughs> so Royal Vintage and American Duchess. Duchess. The CEO of the company can say the name of her own company. <laughs> Duchess. Um, this is our third episode today, all, so we're a little tired now. <laughs> they've, they've always been operated yes. by, by us. Us. Um, you and me. Yeah. Together. Same people. Holding on for dear life. Same office. Same warehouse. Same manufacturer, same um, everything, except not the same website, not the same Instagram, not the same Facebook, Facebook. not the same email, not the same phone number even. Not the same MailChimp, not the same later, not the same not shipping accounts. Not the same business licenses, not the same taxes, not the same freight shipping accounts or customs accounts. So <laughs> on the back end of all of this, they have been separate entities, legal entities, and but essentially it was one company operating as two yes. legally. Yes, yes. What that caused, we, this was a grand experiment, and we yes. did have t- uh, reasons for we this. Did. The primary reason was that we wanted to do 1920s, 30s, and 40s uh, more fashion-focused, more everyday with rubber mm-hmm. soles specifically. Yeah. And we have only recently switched back to leather soles due mm-hmm. to demand, and kind of that reason to be separate went away. Yeah. But there were other problems, too. Yes. I mean, well... Because we are masochists. <laughs> are we, we masochists? Did we write two books back to back? Yes, we did. Yes, and, and run two companies. and Because like the front end stuff, your husband, Chris, who's also your partner, he does all the back end. So he was the one who kept the warehouse organized. He was the one that made sure that the labels would print off, that the websites would work, that the back end would work. He would help handle customer service. And we had Jenny work part time. But, but a lot of the customer service, the marketing, the book writing... The being in the office on the day to day, it was you and me, boo boo. Like it was us, and we were tired. <laughs> it was just it was too much. What happened was both having two of everything just created mm-hmm. double work. Yeah, double Instagram, double Facebook posts, double this, double that. Mm-hmm. And on your side of it, the customer side of it, it was confusing. Yeah, and we we got a lot of confusion. Mostly it was, can I use my royal reward? I can't say this, by the way. It's a mouthful. Our points. Can I use my royal points on American Duchess? No. Can you ship my orders together? No. Can I use my gift certificate from one website on the other? No. And I hate saying no to customers. Well, I store credit. Yeah, it was just store awful. credits didn't transfer. And explaining we, it felt so stupid. Yeah, because it's like, why are we doing this? And then even, it was like, I can't even elevator pitch this to my peers in EO or in my mm-hmm. business circles because it doesn't make sense. No. It's a mouthful. I can't explain it. Oh, yeah, we're the same mm-hmm. company, but we're two different companies, but we make the same product, mm-hmm. but it's a little bit different. Like, but, but why? We're actually, and it's like, but why? But why? So fast forward to... Five years later. Five years later to, to a few months ago in 2019, mm-hmm. and it was just like, you know what? 
let's just put them together. Yeah. The reason for them to be separate is gone. It will streamline everything. And 2020 is all about streamlining American Dutch and doing everything that we do better and more stable than we have before and making it easier yes. for you guys to, 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 to get what we do because it shouldn't mm-hmm. be difficult and it shouldn't be hard and it shouldn't be frustrating. And it shouldn't be confusing either. So what this means is that eventually around, is it April? That yep. like the social media accounts for Royal Vintage, they're not going to disappear, but they're going to go quiet. So everything's going to be focused in on American Duchess. You know, DMing us is going to just American Duchess. If you DM Royal Vintage after April, you might get a response one day, like six months later. No, we're no. we're not going <laughs> like, to check them. We're just no. going to. Uh, it was more like us everybody. being like, click. Oh wait. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, but no, like April, and it's just going to be more clear more straightforward and we do need your help to help Mm -hmm. people we need your help to help to assist people in in understanding this um you longtime fans that we love who Mm -hmm. support have supported us for so long Mm -hmm. get helping to get the word out american duchess uh will be manufacturing all of our 20s 30s 40s and 50s shoes and i'm so excited because (laughs) those samples you guys are really cool They're going to be labeled American Duchess. Mm -hmm. Royal Vintage Shoes, what we have remaining, will continue to be sold on the AD site Mm -hmm. as Royal Vintage because they've already been made. But we're not going to make any new shoes under the Royal Vintage label. The idea is that we will stop taking orders Mm -hmm. on Royal Vintage, new orders on Royal Vintage. That website, royalvintageshoes.com will remain up so that we can handle returns, exchanges, and and stuff that's Mm -hmm. already been placed, but we're not accepting new orders. And all new ordering will happen on American Duchess. Yes. Now, the number one question that we Mm -hmm. get Mm -hmm. is, what's going to happen to my Royal Rewards points? Royal Royal Rewards points. points. The Rewards (laughs) points, are they going to transfer? And the second question we get is, well, what about easy pay? Is that going to remain a thing? Mm -hmm. So to answer both of those, the rewards points will be a thing on the new website, American, the new AmericanDuchess.com. It may look a little different. It yeah. may have some added functionality because the site that we're going on to has some cool other rewards yes. stuff we can do. But the points will transfer either as points or as store credit yes. when all of the accounts are migrated, to use a Chris term, mm-hmm. migrated over. There may be a little bit of downtime Mm-hmm. While we get the new reward system up and running, your points will not disappear. Yes, you will be able to purchase yes. with them. There will be no no downtime for purchasing. Mm-mm. They'll just either be points that you can purchase with, or there'll be a store credit yeah. distributed out to everyone. Mm-hmm. The second one, Easy Pay. Yes. We're looking at a new system that will. Yay. Um, I think it's going to be Afterpay or Klarna or one of those Mm. that makes our inventory (laughs) tracking a lot easier and means that you will get your shoes immediately instead of three months later. Mm -hmm. It's better for everybody, but they require um, a certain number of months before they'll implement, which means we have to switch off EasyPay and go without an EasyPay system for, Mm -hmm. I think it's four to five months before we can in, like get after pay going. So a chunk of 2020, we're not going to have a layaway option because we're switching over to a much better yeah. option and we just have to have some time. Yeah. So I know this isn't probably all that interesting unless you're thinking about opening an inventory I mean, based business on the internet. I love listening to business podcasts. <laughs> business. That. It just may not be what they're expecting. Yeah. Um, But some other exciting things coming up, and we are going to keep this short and sweet, but 2020, Mm -hmm. as I said, is uh, our year of consolidating and streamlining and just really focusing on what we do better and more of. So the other exciting things, we are working on some new manufacturing um, suppliers in different countries, Uh, primarily Portugal is who we're working with. So Mm -hmm. um, I don't know when this podcast is going to come out. I don't know. But... Nicole, Chris, me, and Matt are going to be on a plane to Portugal I, at I the end of February. It, it'll come out before the end of April. <laughs> yes, it will. <laughs> so I will have either been in Portugal or very soon going to go to Portugal. 
um, to work on our manufacturing yes. there. We're super excited Business about it. Business field trip. Business field trip with a little bit of vacation tacked on the end. Always. <laughs> Very excited about that because potentially it means more choice, more colors, mm-hmm. a more steady flow of mm-hmm. uh, old stuff and new, mm-hmm. just more, more, more. Particularly if there are any men listening to this, we are expanding the men's line. Yay. That was the number one comment we had over the holidays is, well, more I'm men's. glad you have men's stuff, but you only have three styles. Yeah. So more men's. And when we say men's, we mean also for the ladies. All of our men's styles are also in ladies sizing unisex, uh, which I'm stoked about because I love love, love menswear. We have some cool stuff being sampled right now for the men. Yeah, we do. Like some really, really cool stuff that I am am excited to share with people on on the media of social. Heck yes. (laughs) We are doing more podcasts evidenced by... Here we are. These podcasts. Look at us. (laughs) More videos on YouTube. Yeah. Um, all of our podcasts are being recorded. Uh, you can watch us talk on YouTube if you really want to, where you will also have visuals of the things that we're talking about. Yes. And in addition, we've got some fun videos coming out, mm-hmm. some how-to videos, uh, yeah. just more. We're building a whole studio in the back of the w- warehouse now. Yeah, it's going to be really cool, and then and, we're going to move in like a and year the and reason, half. And one of the reasons we're able to do this is because we've combined the businesses into one, which means that for basically my job, has a lot of that stuff has been simplified yeah. and streamlined so we can focus on this fun creative stuff. Yeah, it's like we have to grow up and put our big business panties on now. We, like you're yes. on you're on a new system for scheduling social media. I love it. We're using a new in-house like um, to-do list for everybody mm-hmm. to keep us organized. We're going on to G Suite f- mm-hmm. for Gmail to keep our mail organized. It's like holy cow, we actually have to like do this for real real now. It's like we're graduating <laughs> from college. <laughs> But not during a recession. <laughs> I'd like to not have my face slapped by the real world. I like to think we're putting systems in place yes. to get us onto the next. We're just we're leveling up. Place. It's like Mario, man. Do 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 do. Yeah, it feels good. I mean, I think it feels really, really good. Like you and I, and like this us, and like Chris. It's like we've done so much over the past three years, and now it's like yeah, 2020 is like this really awesome like level up, and it coincides so nicely with 2020. <laughs> um, and didn't the business start in? Is it 2011 or 2010? Technically, I filed for the business license December 31st, 2010. (gasps) So we're almost to our 10-year anniversary. We didn't start trading um, until uh, April of 2011. That's when I got the first shoe. So basically, we're coming up to a 10-year anniversary, which is huge, especially in the small business world. I feel old. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, so we're just leveling up, and everything's going to be so much nicer. It's going to be so much nicer for our customers, for you guys listening at home. It's going to make our lives a lot easier so we can produce better content and better things and better shoes, like just better everything, a better user experience in every capacity. Um, so this is super exciting. And that is, yeah, that's that's one of the things I'm passionate about is how do you just keep, like, the next step forward, the mm-hmm. next step forward, you know? Like, yeah. how do you make this better? How do you make this more streamlined? Mm-hmm. How do you make this more efficient? The dark side of it is, like, well, this is not sustainable. You'll hear that, like, Chris loves to say that a lot. You'll hear it a lot. This is not sustainable. And what mm-hmm. we mean by that is we can't go another five years operating like this because no. it will literally kill me. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, when we brought, like, Nicole and Chrissy on, it was like, I remember... It was before before either of them had come on, so it was probably early of early 2019. And I remember looking, going, "I'm really proud of what we did for 2018." If I'm we, tired. <laughs> if we do that again, I will die. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we will die. Like, it was like I'm not. I'm not gonna miss words. I yeah. will die. So our team is growing. We have we have Nicole, Chrissy, mm-hmm. Abby here, me, Lauren. Um, that's one person. <laughs> Chris, Jenny, and now we're bringing on another new employee. His name yeah. is Matt. I mentioned him earlier to help us with um, production and uh, supply chain and yeah. stuff. Like That sounds so corporate. That sounds it so does. like business time. It's business time. Yeah. Kicking ass, taking names. So we are excited. We hope that you're mm-hmm. excited too. We know this wasn't particularly Please be excited. Like, it's very exciting. It is exciting for us. Um, if you're interested in business, I'm always happy to talk about it. So you mm-hmm. can go ahead and email us, info at americanduchess.com, mm-hmm. which we will be accessing through our new G Suite interface. Yay. Not Thunderbird. Just spoiler <laughs> alert. Uh, not spoiler alert, but just we're not going to tell you our manufacturing resources, though. <laughs> yeah, there's certain Supply things that, are that we're not going to tell you. But if, you know, and I do this um, this talk sometimes at Costume mm-hmm. College and, and other places, but I'm happy to help small businesses. 
Yeah, so people who want to get into business. This is actually a beautiful segue because something that we had talked about doing before we had done it on the podcast um, was talking more about small business, even bringing more small business people on because actually a lot of people we interview are related to, they do business things in some way, like Cynthia. Mm -hmm. Um, So if you all listening, whether on YouTube or or you're listening just on your podcast player, whether it's on um, anything like that, if you have like business questions or you want to see more b- small business related content, like we are happy to talk about it on the podcast. Even though we understand fashion history with American Duchess is fashion history with American Duchess. It can also just be the American Duchess podcast where we talk about all <laughs> things fashion, costuming and business, small business. Well, and as you said earlier, if we just wait long enough, maybe we'll get we'll become history. <laughs> yeah, this will become history. <laughs> You guys, uh, again, if you have any more questions about the merger as well, ooh, yeah. corporate merger. Yeah, uh-huh. we're working on a FAQ. We're working on an FAQ. Yep. It's probably, it probably knowing Chrissy, it'll be up before this podcast goes out. Yep. So there's probably already a FAQ put up. Yep, you'll hear us talking about it. You'll get emails about it. We're going to make sure everything is understood mm-hmm. and that there's no fear and that there's no confusion about stuff. Yeah. So thank you so much for listening. Um, and your support. Like, and thank yeah. you. <laughs> like, you guys... Royal Vintage has done so well as the, this, this little baby business. It was an incredible five years with Royal Vintage. The amount of shoes that we put out, you know, the amount of people who wore our shoes, <laughs> you know, what and everything like that. It was just, it's been incredible. And so we're really excited to bring everything back together to make it even better. But thank you so much for your support with Royal Vintage, for your patronage of Royal Vintage, for loving Royal Vintage shoes. And yeah, it's awesome yeah. thank you we're looking forward to more shoes more shoes and better business so yeah thanks for tuning in and we will see you next time if you want to find us on instagram and facebook it's american duchess there is a blog i promise Blo- it's american <laughs> what is it blog.americanduchess.com blog. yeah it's just blog.americanduchess.com there will yeah, be links in the description you can just google it or if you're looking for uh footwear historic reproduction mm-hmm. shoes from the night from well from gosh all of it 18th century uh, 17th century so, oh, it's going to yeah. be 17th century Spoiler. forward maybe even 16th depending Spoiler, on what you've done sweetie. all the way to about 1950 americanduchess.com is com. your place for that and we will see you next time yeah bye, bye. guys <laughs>